Okay, we get to have another adventure. I want to start pointing out these three paintings around me. This first one, this yellow and black one, is titled Myself. That's how the shade pictures himself. This one, the image we're most familiar with, is titled Darkness. So the shade is darkness in some way. And this one is angst. The last time we adventured into the darkness, we came face to face with our angst. And by our angst seeing us, it said, I see you. It approached us and we awoke from that adventure as if it were just a dream. I'm not going to read a book. I'm just going to point out from the very beginning of the game. The king told us to wait 400 days. Then we should awaken him. At the end he will end all fear and longing. I wonder what would happen. He also warned us that we should never leave these caves. I wonder what exactly he meant by it. So we have discovered where the darkness is, but we've yet to overcome it. We have allowed the shade to sit and just be with his own thoughts. And from that introspection, he's come to the conclusion that it's okay to dare to go further than perhaps the king would like. Because his curiosity is somewhat unsated by just living here underneath in these caves. He still dreams of the sun. I say still dreams because when we have the option to create pictures, the shade knows of things such as the sun and the moon and he's quite curious about these things. He wants to know, will I ever see the sun? And that's how the introspection begins. And based on how you answer, you can resolve that or choose to never resolve it. But by having resolved it, the shade had reached this sort of epiphany that in order to overcome darkness, he could instead become darkness, which is quite iconic with that image of what darkness is. It's no longer the image of himself, but that sort of an evolution to become something greater than himself. To become the darkness. We're going to make one quick side trip along the way. We're going to go visit the face. The face has a good bit of information. It fills this in on things we have questions about. And it's quite, it's somewhat in riddles, but it's quite clear that this face knows things that we would not have known on our own. That was an option to use our Matic to try to break through this impenetrable barrier. We're not quite ready to do that yet. But we should congratulate our little shade. He's succeeded to complete over 100 days.
Nothing ever happens down here. This is a new dialogue that we haven't seen before. It was triggered because of the fact that we've passed 100 days. Even though for us, as the player, we have our own feelings of how things progress and how things feel, the shade is, it's like an idle game where he has his own experiences of what's going on. Even though for us, it's only been a single day. It's only been 24 hours since we've last hung out with the shade. For him, it's been 10 days. And that's because when he sits at home, his home is so nice that time moves more quickly. But after those 10 long days to be out wandering about, he's just like, it's just the same. It's his longing speaking, the longing for something different. It's why when he is allowed to be introspective, he longs to see something else like the sun. Oh, I do believe I'm walking in a direction it's not going to help us. Is this the cliff? Yeah, yeah, okay. need to go onwards, upwards. Right before the stream started, our shade had a little vision. A vision of two characters who were at a well. There was an old blind man and a young troll. With some of the images we can draw, the shade, well, the developer has said that drawings are sort of an intuition for the shade. Um, things that he just intuitively knows for some reason. Or things he perhaps speculates about. But he has two images in particular. One is that older blind man. And that image is called Savior. And there's another one. It looks a bit like of a clown face, but it's the image of that little troll girl. And that one was called... Oh no. I believe it was called Despair. And it's worth pointing those out because our shade longs to see the sun. And in order to make that journey, he's facing lots of challenges. There's a lot of ordeals that we went through to reach that place. The first one being this stalactite. It took about a week of time for it to fall and bridge that gap. There's our face. Well, it's not our face. Hello, face. How are you? I am well. Thank you. How are you? Can you help me with these thoughts? How can I overcome the darkness? The way to light is blocked by total darkness. You will only overcome darkness if you learn to become darkness. This way you will be invisible to it. But you will only achieve this if you delve deep, deep into your own mind and conscious loneliness. 
this seems to be what it was that we had accomplished. What lies beyond this cave? Beyond the cave, there is light. Light is beautiful and dangerous. Light is without understanding. The don't trust the childish eyes of the young. They will fear you. Only trust the old and blind, who are not afraid of that which emerges from the darkness. So it's implying that the young would fear would have risen the dark, and that the old and blind, even though they're blind and they can't see it, they don't fear it, and it's nothing to them, which reflects a lot of that dream, that mushroom-induced dream we just experienced. Those words that were a bit of a riddle, such as, in order to reach the light, you must first pass the darkness. Well, if we keep going upwards, we know that we're going to reach the darkness. So that would be saying beyond that darkness is the light. And beyond this cave, the answer to that is also the light. But in order to actually reach it, we must beware. And linked with the paintings of despair and savior, all the little pieces are coming together. And you could certainly go through these challenges and complete them all on your own, without those tips, without those clues. I think for myself, I discovered how and what to do all on my own. Even though the clues were there and I had read them, I didn't understand them at the time. They were too cryptic. We did share this before when we made this journey that the further we go from the king everything becomes darker you can notice it in the backgrounds there's a sort of tinge of red which slowly becomes dimmer as we go forward until we reach absolute darkness the developer has shared that he considers the map a sort of map of inside of a person's soul and in order to reach other parts of your soul, there's hardships, there's challenges to be overcome. But this door was one of our first challenges. In order to open the door, we had to wait Two real hours. We could have returned to our home and just read a book to pass the time, but we chose to watch. Here we had to be patient on our own accord. Rather than waiting for a door to open, we patiently paced around on top of a platform to, to break it. And underneath, we were able to find a mattock. 
pneumatic was essential to us because we needed to dig we needed to dig into ourselves to find places within us that we didn't know existed not just pure caves here this fancy pillar the one there in the background that's fallen over somebody is intentionally dug here built here this was also a small challenge this stone we had to laboriously push it all the way across just to give us a little boost to climb up Here there were lots of crevices, lots of dead ends, places that looked like somebody had perhaps built a way to go, but then stopped and gave up their mind, or changed their mind, and began to build in some other direction. It's quite a metaphor for some people who decide, oh, I want to become this in life, but then those aspirations stop, and they disappear, and Sometimes they are a disappointment that lingers, that sticks with you. There were also some very cramped dead ends, places that we just, it didn't fit with us. And then the precarious webs I know there's some idiom hanging on by a thread type of thing, but it's those things that allow us to climb forward. This one, this spider, we had to interrupt where it was building to build somewhere else. Something that was a dead end became open to us. This place is refreshing, you know, we're greeted by all this light. Well, it's completely dark if you choose to walk it on your own. But when you have this single mushroom with you, there is just so much more there. You're able to see things under a different light. I like to think of the mushrooms perhaps as like friendships or um, other people who have reached these heights and you can cultivate these friendships you know we can chew them up we can eat them we can gain something from that experience but we can also grow them that's why we have a lot of mushrooms there
but having these companions, they, they light the way. They make the journey that much easier. And this is something we could have done the first time we came here. And also with the shade, him being him or she, doesn't matter. However you wish to see the shade, the shade sees themselves as a blob. But they, when they were introspective, they, th before they reached the conclusion about accepting the darkness within them, they had the option to be like, whoa, I can just take a light with me and it can accompany me through the darkness. And so we're going to try that out. We didn't choose that dialogue option just because I knew this was something we can actually do. And having the matic the rubble at our feet there. That was the place we had to dig through. Digging into ourselves to find something new, to find new potential. And once we discovered that new potential, we were faced with a wall. And we had to go through quite a bit. We had to backtrack and what we have cultivated, it helped us. This one to point out game mechanics wise is quite unique. A couple of streams ago we carried a mushroom in our hands and once we reached a doorway we couldn't enter the door. Instead we were blocked by having to eat the mushroom. Here however we can choose to climb even though we have a mushroom. The first time I saw that, I shouted, No, why did you eat it? And then he took it out of his mouth, and I was like, Whoa, I didn't know you could do that. Normally with a mushroom, a lamp, they don't dim over time, but you may have already noticed that the further we go into the darkness, this little light we're carrying with us seems to struggle. But it's still with us. It's still of help.
there is the stairway where on your own you are in the complete utter pitch blackness that you couldn't see anything there but having the light we can I like to think of it that having those friends along the way they can share with you a different perspective something you know as I was sharing before this this road this loneliness um, if you just follow it to its natural end many people will reach this decision of just killing themselves doing away with it but that it takes a different perspective it takes something to shift you from that to show you there's probably a different way and that it was in pitch darkness for us to find it for ourselves but with the light accompanying us they were able to show us something different and I think it's quite symbolic I just wanted to show that walking to the edge of the cliff that you can't just jump with the mushroom in your hand you would have to eat the mushroom first As you can see, regardless of our friends, facing the darkness is something that's personal. Something you have to do on your own. That even though they are with us, they offer no light. And there, as before, is our angst. I'm going to pause the screen for a moment. As you can see though, um, we let our shade sit for a good minute. And as our shade tends to do, he gets a board, likes to chew on things. Without us actually clicking, he ate the mushroom. going to purposely, purposefully just stand here for a moment. I guess it's like coming face to face with the image of yourself, of what you believe yourself to be. And even though I don't have video of it, if we were to just continue walking forward with the mushroom in our hands, our angst would come over and, as before, say, I see you. And then we would still awake from everything as if it were a dream. But here, this is new. 
and close our eyes. We have become darkness. Who are you? I like to think of this as we have become angst. We have become something different. We see the world perhaps now through different eyes. Different than who we were before. I should point out, I didn't click a button to open our eyes. After we've closed our eyes, I just walked forward. I can't see where I'm going, but it feels right. Perhaps symbolic of not knowing what the future would bring, but striving onwards with it anyway, because it feels right. Just our intuition to guide us. Walking our own path, doing something, something new. It's taking quite some time. Now that we've overcome the darkness, we could perhaps go back and pick up a mushroom and walk with it here. See if it would allow us to see anything. Because now that we've done that, we don't have to repeat it. It's already done. It's already different. We've already become something different.
Da-dee-da. <laughs> I think the shade is just trying to distract himself. There's sort of an anxiousness just walking through the dark. And we can tell we're making progress by the footsteps, by the bobbing of the little eyes. I think it's only unsettling, just at first, that after you've spent enough time in this kind of darkness that it becomes normal, it becomes okay, that your thoughts begin to just travel to other directions. find this walk interesting because there is nothing guiding us. Not like when we are in the halls of eternity where every minute or two from walking you find a piece of paper or a book or some little piece of unique decor for your home. It sort of just draws you to keep coming, keep walking forward and that here there is no reward.
did our eyes go? The ground is different. The light that's beyond the darkness. I have left the darkness behind me. Piece of wood. I'm way too far away from the king now, but strangely, I don't feel the need to turn back. Might be useful for building a bed. If you recall, we needed 10 pieces of wood to build a bed. Which is a bit funny how we've come all this way and if we want to build a bed, we would have to go all the way back. There it is. The realm beyond the kingdom. The place the king warned me about before he went to sleep. He told us just one thing, my faithful shade, to never leave the caves of this kingdom. And there it is. What a tragedy. The exit is blocked by granite. Even a matic won't help me here. So close yet so, so far. Ah, a piece of coal. Here at the very edge of the kingdom. Righteous indeed. Thank you for the follow. The follower goal is met again. How is this possible? 
I swear, just a few days ago, we met the follower goal. But congratulations, you are the 50th follower. It's a goal that I've been striving for for quite a long time. So there is a little bit of a corner over here. There seems to be a hidden passage here. A handy medic, useful for harvesting minerals and for breaking through fragile walls. Not the granite ones, apparently. This is an old well. Maybe some people from the outside world still use it. I should hope they wouldn't be afraid of me. So this, what, there is a picture that the shade can draw. Picture of a well. And it looks exactly like this. How would the shade know of it before even having seen it? Also the face, what the face has told us that if some, some people did use the well, that perhaps we can catch a ride out. And, uh, right, but there is a distinction to be made. One is the savior and the other is despair. However, if we walk back over and take a look we would have to wait for somebody to come by In all the dreams that we've had, it was daytime. Unfortunately for our shade, it's nighttime. There won't be anybody walking across here for quite a while. If we let our shade, our shade sit for a while, he'll fall asleep. And in his sleep, he'll usually have a vision, not always. But if he does, then it will pass time by an hour, at least. So if perhaps you were at an unusual hour, and in your real life, you wouldn't be awake at the time that the sun rises within the game. You could manipulate time still, just by allowing the shade to fall asleep, again and again. It's so close though. You can just hear it. It's a little chirping of insects. It's like you can just feel moisture, wind from outside. So if you were to wait in the well, how would you know if it was the old man or the old blind man or the young troll girl? The best solution would be to just hang out right here. 
so you can see who's coming from the corner, right when you see them, to go for a dash. When my best friend and I played the game for the first time, we sat, we talked together about the information we had. And she hadn't spoke to the face about that clue. And so I loaded up my own game and showed her that clue, that there are two of them there. And she was determined to just sit here and wait. And she spent many hours waiting because it was also dark. It's very frightening, especially if you've been playing this game for over a month at this point, to know that you could still get it wrong, to know that you could be wasting your time waiting for the right person to come along. How could you figure it out? How could you time it? Is it worth the risk to just jump in at any bucket? Is it a tragedy? If it's the other person, is it that big of a deal? Just so many questions that just fill your mind as you just sit and wait. And there's nothing we can do but to wait. We only stream for an hour a day. So if we were to come back just 23 hours from now, it's not really going to help, is it? Since it would still be dark then. I could come back on several times and get the shade to sleep just to shift the time so that when we return tomorrow, it will be hours ahead, perhaps even morning. So that way, when we return tomorrow, it will be daylight. I could also perhaps go back down into the caves, eat a bunch of mushrooms, and that will give us some visions. So let's make a bookmark here. I'll have our shade walk back over to the mushrooms. But thanks for coming in. Thanks for hanging out. You're welcome to just hang out and lurk and just watch as the shade goes about his journey. We will come back. This is not my first time playing through the game. I have saved games, I have saved profiles of all the different endings of the game. So I believe next time we come back, we'll be looking at those endings and I'll be sharing the videos and loading up those profiles so you can see what would happen if we wait for the troll girl. What would happen if we waited for the man? And we can see both the possibilities that happen there. But that'll be our story for tomorrow.
I would imagine the Shade wouldn't mind walking back and forth through these new places that he's never seen before. Well, perhaps not this part. Have a delightful walk in the dark.